If there's anything I've learned so far is that the beauty is a much needed asset in the film industry, especially Hollywood. And if you're beautiful, you already have half of your work done for you. Yes, beauty comes before talent. And Hollywood has an abundance of these beauties. In today's video, we are going to be looking at one of the most beautiful women to ever feature in Hollywood, Verna Lisi. The stunning Italian beauty was known for her amazing performance on screen and is considered one of the finest actresses to ever come out of Hollywood. Whether you are a huge fan, like that band named themselves after her, or not, here are some facts you should definitely know about Verna. Number 1. She was born in Ancona. Verna Lisi Pieralisi was born in the beautiful city of Ancona, located on the Adriatic coast of Italy. It is known for its fantastic beaches and great views. The perfect vacation spot if you're looking to get away for a bit. It is also known for its various monuments including the National Archaeological Museum, the Roman Amphitheater, the iconic Mole Van Vitiliana, and many more. Its economy is based on passenger and commercial shipping through its extensive harbor. And that is the main reason why most of its citizens run shipping businesses. And that included Verna's father. He owned a hugely successful marble shipping business, which means Verna and her siblings grew up in luxury. Number 2. Acting wasn't her first choice. Before Verna became the glamorous actress that she was, with such a brilliant career, she actually had no interest in acting. Born into a family of businessmen and women, Verna was naturally inclined to continue in the family tradition. In her late teens, she and her family moved to Rome, and Verna had plans of going to business college mainly because she had developed an interest in business and she was doing well at school too. However, plans changed when Giacomo Rodinella, the singer who was a family friend, suggested that she gave acting a shot and convinced the producer to give her a screen test, which she passed. This earned her a small role in the movie I Napoli Canta, which was the beginning of an illustrious career. Number 3. She appeared in 24 films. Verna was active from 1953 to 2014, and in the 61 years of her career she appeared in 24 major movies, playing small roles in several others. Her first leading role was in The Doll That Took the Town in 1957. It was directed by the renowned Italian film director Francesco Maselli, who dedicated his career to intimate films focused on the female portraits. She appeared in a few other movies, before moving to America, the land of opportunities. According to her, she never really stopped making movies and had made up to 100 movies at the time of her death. Number 4. She detested her roles. If we were to describe Verna Lisi's beauty in one word, the word would be stunning. She had the sensual beauty of the Italians that was highly welcome in Hollywood. Naturally, producers would want her to showcase her beauty in the most sensual way possible and thus handed her roles that involved her being a temptress. She was likened to Marilyn Monroe, the American sex symbol, and was mostly cast as a dumb blonde. For someone who was incredibly intelligent, she totally detested these roles, and returned to Europe after turning down an offer to play the lead role in Roger Vadim's Barbarella in 1968. According to her, she was tired of being cast in roles that revolved around her looks. Some of her most popular movies in Hollywood include how to Murder Your Wife, a comedy film directed by Richard Quine, and Not With My Wife, You Don't, another comedy film by Norman Panama. Oh, and in case you are wondering, I'm also wondering why those movies were named like that too. Number 5. She refused offers to be a model. With her smoky eyes and finely toned physique, this Italian beauty was one of the most sought-after women of her time. It therefore came as no surprise that modeling companies were also in a race to sign her. And it didn't take long for one of the biggest modeling companies in the world, Playboy Inc., to join the race. Unfortunately for them, she declined a very lucrative contract. And the reason was she did not want to be seen as a sex symbol, and that the Hollywood portrayal of her had done enough damage. Number 6. She won several awards. Verna was a highly celebrated actress with several awards to her name, her most notable being the Cannes Film Festival Award for the Best Actress in 1994 and the Caesar Award of the Best Supporting Actress in 1995. 
She was highly celebrated in her homeland, winning seven David Di Donatella Awards and an honorary Italian Golden Globe Award in 2004. Her latest award was the Pietro Bianchi Award, which she received at the 2011 Venice Film Festival. Number seven, she has a band named after her. Verna must have done a lot of good in her previous life because she was highly loved both on screen and off screen. Aside from the numerous awards and accolades she received, one of her highest honors was having a popular band named after her. The Verna Lisi was a Brazilian rock band known for their unique style of combining elements of Brazilian folk music like samba and were the first punk band to do so. That is not the only thing named after her. Million International SA, a rose-growing business in France, named a rose after her, and the Argentinian band Sumo made a song for her. Number 8. She was married once. The heart of one of the most sought-after beauties in the world was captured by an Italian architect and builder, Franco Peschi. They got married in 1960 and were married till his death in 2013. He had made it clear that he did not approve of her career and had tried everything he could to make her quit. This forced her to take a temporary leave, but she returned a few months later and Pesky gave up his quest. They were married for 53 years and had a son together. Number 9. She died in 2014. Barely a year after her husband's death, Verna passed away from lung cancer in Rome, Italy on 18th of December 2014. She is survived by her son and three grandchildren. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and tell us if we missed any fact out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon on your screen to turn on post notifications so you would be the first to know when we post new content. Until next time, stay safe and remember to do good. Adios!